Hello everyone, this is Manu with you. In this video, I'm going to show you two simple ways to create an explosion in Blender. The first one will be a very simple animation, and as you see the little preview on the right side of the screen. And this one don't take a long time to make, and it looks very nice too. And the second one will look much much nicer, and as you see the little preview on, on the left side of the screen. And this one take a longer time to create and longer time to render, but it looks very nice. Look at it. So yep, let's get started with the tutorial. And the first thing that you need to do to create the first animation is to change the mod from object mod to edit mod. And then after changing the mod, you need to go down here and click on subdivide four or five times or as many times as you want. And as you see, it's like cuts the cube in small pieces small very small pieces and then after doing that you need to go back to object mod and then you need to hit space and after you hit space this icon will show up and this icon and here you need to type q just q and then just go down and you will see like an icon say quick quick explode click on it and then i will preview i will show you what will happen when you choose the quick explode it will explode, the cube will explode, but it will not look like a real TNT or something. But to, but to edit that, to change that, you need to go down here, over here, here, you need to go down and type on the uh, outwards velocity, velocity or something. And you need to type like, uh, I'll type 7, choose 7, and then we, I will preview it to you right now. Look, it will explode, like a balloon or something it looks awesome it looks awesome and it's very easy to make very easy to create so yeah now i'm going to show you how to make the second animation and the first thing that you need to do to create the second animation is to go up here to file and then click on user preference preference and then go to add-ons and then search here uh, type cell c e l l and then this icon will show up and then you need to highlight this little box over here just highlight it and then close it close this and as you see a new uh, icon will show up a uh, show in this menu called a uh, cell fracture but we will not uh, click on it right now first thing we need to do is to go back to edit mode and then we need to subdivide the cube one more time just subdivide it again like so and then go back to object mod and then click on what's called self self fracture and then this icon will show up don't do anything don't select anything or don't change anything just press ok and it will take like uh, one or two minutes to render or something so yep i'll press ok and i will be right back and yeah guys it finished render right now and just before i continue i just want to say one thing and when it finished render you will not find it on the first layer over here you need to click on this layer so that you can find the like the new cube that you created so yep now the f now we need to uh, highlight the cube well, to highlight it you need to press b and then just drag b and drag to highlight the cube and then you need to go to you are here on tools you need to go to physics and then uh, make the the what's called the cube active add to active okay now after doing that you need to add a plane to the what's called to the project you need to add plane to the project just just uh, drag this top like so and then to add plane you need to press shift a shift a and after after you press shift a this icon will come up and you need to go to mesh and press plane and here is your little plane okay it's very small right now but to scale it you need to press s and then just drag s and drag okay s and drag just put it over here so that it isn't it's in the middle like so and yeah now you need to and yeah now you need to what's called to make the plane um, you, need to, uh, you need to play to make the plane passive so just click on add passive 
So yep, that's it. Now you need to select the cube again. Press B and just drag. And as you see, the plane is highlighted too. But uh, if you don't want to be highlighted, just click B and then the middle mouse uh, tab or something. And then after doing that, you need to go to here to that little bouncing ball or something. And then here, oh come on, okay, just B and just do it again. And yep. Yeah. The, we, are, we are highlighting the cube right now and then after uh, ch choosing this this bouncing ball you need to go down and then uh, highlight this box this little box it says collision margin morgan or something and then after when you highlight it this will happen look it will look awesome it will look awesome look at it boom it exploded it's exploded this looks awesome and that is basically it that is how to create the exploding animation the second exploding animation i said it will take a little time a longer time than the last uh, the first one but it is worth it it is worth it believe me it is worth it and you can also change the color i didn't show you the last time but you can also change the color like so you can change it to blue change it to red and let's change it to red. Yep. Let's go here and and let's do this. Yep. Look, it is awesome. So yep, that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you all guys enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial. And also don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome videos and tutorials. See you next time. Bounce.